that, so this is what I've got so far. Um, the shutter piece is just a simple uh, strip of brass, and at the end here I've just curled up a, a, a couple of times here just to give that a bit of a, um, a strong handle at the end. And what I'm going to do is get the soldering on, and actually uh, try and solder within there, and just fill that end up there with solder, give it a bit of weight and a bit of strength on the end there. So uh, as soon as that heats up, I'll, uh, I'll be doing that. So this is just a simple, uh, simple uh, shutter set up here. That's going to be screwed on top, and just simply slide into the into the uh, placement there. And when we make exposure, we just pull it out, expose the hole, and then push it back in, end of exposure. Here's the shutter, all together, all finished. Open the shutter up, light comes through the hole, close it up, no more light. So far, all the cameras finished, all finished inside here. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing is just getting a little bit of uh, black silicon and actually just sealing inside the camera here on each one of these joints. So I want to make sure, I just want to double sure that uh, we're not going to get any light leaks coming in through this this part down here. Now I'm pretty sure that we won't, but you know, once I seal this front plate on, uh, I want to make sure that uh, that's not going to happen. So after I do that, <coughs> next step, the, um, the shutter mechanism is all finished now. All the back is nicely painted black, all ready to be uh, glued onto the front. And uh, once we glue it, that's it. That'll be permanent then. And our camera will be uh, basically finished. We'll be able to use it. And the next step, of course, is to um, to finish it off. Got a nice stain, nice lacquer on the outside of the wood here. Uh, last part, and just putting a black sort of vinyl insert in the back there. And um, yep, and that's our camera. It's all finished. So uh, not long now. Alright, so now we've, um, we've sealed the camera, we put some black uh, corking compound or black silicon inside the camera here, uh, just inside the drawings here where the, the pier comes down and joins in here, and we want to make sure that each one of these seals uh, coming down inside this joint here is actually sealed from the light. We don't want light actually coming through these joints straight into the film, obviously. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually going to test this and uh, what I'm going to do is load up a piece of 4x5 uh, photographic paper 
inside the cartridge, put it into the camera, open up the pinhole. Um, actually, I won't, pin, I won't uh, open the pinhole up. I will just seal up the front and set the slide here for about two minutes or so and then develop the paper and see what we come up with. Hopefully nothing will come up on the paper, which will prove that the camera is light proof. Alright, the next step here now is I'm going to um, get a, a little piece of this square um, length of wood here. Now this can be any size really. Uh, it can be small than this, it doesn't matter really. Um, what I'm going to do is build a bit of an inner frame here uh, for our front plate to fit into. Um, and this will save any sort of silicon and glue and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to glue these pieces in and then glue that straight into it and that's it. And uh, this will stop any light leaks getting through the edge of the top plate. So, you know, we can't get in there with the silicon obviously. So we need to just seal off just the edges here in the corners and build that frame in there and that will sit in there and glue that in.